So the December novices chase is next then, and this is a three mile grade two event for novices and the top one is Battle at the Hot Gates, Joshua Southern and Rambling Rhapsody, Ghost Zapper, Summertime Blues, Derek Hinton and Pulling Your Leg, Graham Clutterbox, only four runners then. So one or two people slipped up with this one with prize money down to fifth. We've got to slip one in this and put yourself some prize money. They're away and racing already and Rambling Rhapsody the Grey is the leader early on. And let's hope we don't get any fallers, otherwise this could turn into something of a procession, couldn't it? It's Rambling Rhapsody then who is taking them along in the lead. I think there must be a shortage of three mile novice chases this season. It's really strange to only get four runners in a race like this. It's not a particularly low rated one or one where you've got ridiculously high rated horses in either seat. So it's, it's a strange situation so we're going to ride on the back of pulling your leg as they take the third and you can see that rambling rhapsody is in front and even when we're doing jockey oh he's gone the leader's gone a crushing fall there for rambling rhapsody and we're down to three so there you go then it's battle at the hot gates in front in the red and the black summertime blues in the pink and pulling your leg in the red, white and green of Graham Clutterbuck. So we don't really need me in this race, do we? And, uh, they take the fifth. Oh, no, down his nose there, the leader. And the other horse, Summertime Blues, didn't jump it that well either. So coming out of this next ditch and they're all over that one, OK. And Battle at the Hot Gates has dropped to the back. But that's only half a length off the lead. So there's still two miles to go. And about a dozen fences still to be jumped, so I wouldn't like to bet money on all three of these finishing at the moment. And Summertime Blues in the pink is now in a little share of the lead. And they're sharing the lead about, and they're sharing the mistakes about as well. But, um, Rambling Rhapsody on it's crashed out already. And it's pulling your leg in the lead. Summertime Blues in second, Battle of the Hot Gates in third. Okay, yeah. Long run to this next one, let's see how they take this one. They all got over that one okay, if they keep jumping like that then, then all three of them will get round. Ambulance is facing the wrong way, it could do with turning round, I think, as they take the next. Pulling your leg in the lead, as we have a look at the top of the stand. Oh, he's gone, he's gone. Pulling your leg has gone straight through that one and crashed out of it. And now we're down to two. Goodness me. Action pack race to say we only had four runners and they come past the winning post with a complete circuit to go and only two horses left in the race. Battle at the Hot Gates is the leader and Summertime Blues is in second. So this could get quite interesting, couldn't it now? <laughs> Battle at the Hot Gates. And Summertime Blues have both made mistakes already. I really don't know what would happen if they all fell. Um, certainly haven't seen it happen in a race previously in the league. So Race towards the next end. There's a mile and a quarter still to go. And plenty of fences still to be jumped. Uh, Battle of the Hot Gates will lead into the next one. It's over it nicely, slower jump by Summertime Blues back in second. Of course, in the three mile races, the pull up kick thing kicks in as well, doesn't it? So, oh, he's made another mistake, the leader. So, bizarre situation, we couldn't get one pull up even. So, <laughs> Battle of the Hot Gates in the lead, then Summertime Blues. This is the 12th, and they both took that one okay. Almost like a countdown of the fences that are left to see if they're going to get round. And they come to this ditch, and they both jump that one really well. Battle at the Hot Gates, about three lengths in the lead of Summertime Blues in second. And the other two have long since departed the race. Battle at the Hot Gates in front. Summertime Blues in second. Beginning to close though. So take the next. Both got over that one nicely. A ditch and they both took that one really well as well starting to think they both might get round now and battle of the hot gates is the leader 
from Summertime Blues in second. Leads about a length and a half, length and three quarters. Four furlongs to go. Three to jump. Battle at the hot gates. In the lead, in the red and the black. The pink clad summertime blues. Just dropping back a bit now in second. They race down towards the third from home. And that leader got over that really well and got away from it. Well, he's now five clear of summertime blues. And it looks now like the obstacles are the only thing that can beat this leader. Let's get over that one. Battle at the hot gates is clear with just one more to jump. Summertime Blues is trying to catch him. Skips over the last. And Battle at the hot gates goes into the final furlong with a good clear advantage of a good five lengths. Races up towards the line then. Final the half furlong into the shadow of the post. Battle at the hot gates is the winner. Summertime Blues a gallant second. And only two finished. Pack race then to say there are only four runners. Battle at the Hot Gates for Joshua Sutherland, the winner. Summertime Blues for Derek Hinton was second, and that's the easiest nine grand that Derek Hinton will ever make. And uh, pulling a leg and rambling rhapsody failed to complete the course.